Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sun Ron, dude. Welcome back to another edition of Ronda Reacts. We are going to be reacting to the Resident Evil 4 Remake uh, developer gameplay overview. Uh, this was at the Capcom showcase of this year. And um, I don't really know what to expect. I, obviously, it's going to be way different from 2004's uh, Resident Evil 4. And. I don't know. So apparently this is the director and the producer uh, kind of giving us uh, a special inside look on what to expect for next year's uh, RE4 remake and I'm pretty excited. Um, once again, I've played Resident Evil. I think the first Resident Evil game I played on this, on this channel was uh, Resident Evil Biohazard uh, aka Resident Evil 7. And then after that, we did Resident Evil 2 Remake, and then 2 to the 3 Remake, and uh, last but not least, uh, Resident Evil Village. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, they're all uh, in a playlist on this channel. Uh, go ahead, check them out, and you know, don't be afraid to comment, you know, hit the subscribe button and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So. Without any further ado, let's get it. Perfect. Alright, here we go. Hi everyone, I'm Yasuhiro Anfo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original 2005 release. 2005. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character six of the game, years, Leon bro. S. Kennedy, survived six. the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. Also, what I realized as well it's like apparently there were a lot of tie-ins between village and four um i know there was this one easter egg where when you talk to duke um like our supplier in a sense uh he was uh talking about his old friend who was another merchant and it so happened to be one of the merchants that's actually in resident evil 4 uh so I thought that was a pretty cool Easter egg, um, and damn, six years, so you can kind of see the, like, the maturity and growth, I mean, as they said when it came to Leon, because he was so naive, and, you know, he, it's a young cop, so, you know, he just wanted to do what was right, and so, damn, it's gonna be crazy, bro. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. That's terrifying. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. In order to truly bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, the Ganado have been completely redesigned. It's fucking horrible. Why would they do Let's that? Let's take a closer look at the game itself. The over-the-shoulder camera returns, of course. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Yeah, I've been doing that for the past course, three, two fucking remakes. There will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Mm -hmm. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th, 2023. 
We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy. So please look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Hey, we all have yet to disappoint. Thank y'all. <sighs> Obviously, we have a lot to expect when it comes to this one. This Resident Evil 4. Um, I can definitely say... I mean, shit, just from experience. <laughs> this is going to be none like the past two remakes that they uh, released, produced and released. Um, this one is going to be... <sighs> I don't even think the word terrifying is, like, the right word to put how this is going to be from the looks of it and the sound what the producers and the developer had told us it's it's definitely going to be a roller coaster ride and it's it's going to be crazy and i'm really looking forward to it um so i think this may be the last remake i'm pretty sure that it is um because five through six are two like current in the next gen era to where it's like they need to do remakes um so i think this is pretty cool and who knows they may do more remakes of resident evil they may do code veronica they may even do uh what was it it was code veronica resident evil zero that one would be pretty sick they might even do the first resident evil over so there are a ton of remakes that they can do. I just, I don't know. I think it'd be best if they just leave after Resident Evil 4, they just leave it all alone. But once again, I'm looking forward to this game. Um, if you guys haven't, go ahead and check out my Resident Evil playlist. Um, if we're gonna go in technical order, go ahead and check out two through eight. Um, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share, comment, subscribe. Oh shit, I forgot. If y'all haven't, go ahead and not only follow me on Twitter, but follow Ghost of the Rebel slash Ghost of Gamer on Twitter as well and on his YouTube. Uh, he does a lot of rumor reactions, so I don't know if I have anyone out there that watches his videos interested in Ruby, but definitely go and check him out. And we also have a new podcast together, it's called Fusion Struggle Podcast. The first episode is up, so go ahead and check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your night or day, whenever you're watching this. So, peace!